All right, 647 this morning in our Sunrise Smart Start. Some local candidates declared victory well after midnight, but it was too difficult for us to call those races last night because of a major technical issue with the Monroe County Board of Elections. And now a major local candidate is calling for an investigation. Our Amal is out live this morning in Rochester to go over what we need to know. Good morning, Amal. Good morning, Casey. So on election night on the Monroe County Board of Elections webpage, we typically start to see numbers rolling in after the polls close at 9 p.m. But that didn't happen last night. We didn't start to see numbers rolling in until after 10.30 p.m., well after 10.30 p.m. And when they finally did come in, they had some issues. We saw percentages next to the names of candidates, but we did not know how many ballots had been counted, nor did we know if early voting or absentee ballots were in the mix. We got some video of BOE workers packing up ballots last night when we went over to ask questions. LaRon Singletary's attorney was also there asking questions. Singletary is the Republican candidate in the race for the 25th congressional district seat. His attorney said this about the delay and confusion. Anytime there's a delay or anytime there's an irregularity, it, it raises the specter of impropriety. We're not accusing anybody of that right now, uh, but certainly we're monitoring it very closely. And Singletary's campaign sent out a statement earlier this morning saying Singletary has, quote, called for an investigation into unprecedented irregularities in our election process. Throughout the evening, several issues came into question regarding the validity of ballots and how they were accounted for and recorded. And just before 3 this morning, the BOE released a statement saying all of the votes were collected and recorded normally with no issue, and the upload of the results had been delayed due to a connection issue with the county's website. Now, they say they will continue to investigate the cause of these issues from last night, and when they do have updates, they will let us know. For now, we're live in Rochester. I'm at Head News 8. Well, thank you. And the numbers that we do have this morning are appearing at the bottom of your screen if you'd like to check out any of those results. Well, even though Singletary in that statement is calling for an investigation, he did not concede. His opponent, Congressman and Democrat Joe Morelli, he declared victory, though, overnight. And these are the numbers that we have for that race. But again, it's unclear exactly what percentage of the vote is in. That said, here's a look at the numbers we have. We have Morelli leading Singletary 54% to 46%. In declaring his victory, Congressman Joe Morelli says he's never experienced an election night quite like this with technicalities with county election results. However, he says he's ready to embark on a third term and continue to work for New Yorkers. Only the best. I always feel a great deal of anxiety when you're a candidate. Um, and uh, frankly, I'm always humbled that people are willing to allow me to represent this amazing community uh, in Washington as I did when they allowed me to represent them in Albany. So um, I'm just really grateful for people's support. Uh, and I'm going to obviously, you know, redouble my efforts to continue to work on lowering costs for Americans and people in our community, reducing the violence, and then creating job and economic opportunity for everyone. All right, but again, we do want to emphasize that Singletary has not conceded, and we do not have solid enough numbers yet to call this race. All right, 651 right now, and let's check back in with James as everybody gets ready to head out the door for their midweek workday. Yeah, numbers just keep going down, Casey. Uh, all the way down to the 20s this morning. Oh, boy. Yeah. Chill. What a swing. Chill in the air. Right. Uh, good news is, though, we got way up there into the upper 50s to around 60 this afternoon. So the morning dog walk is a cold one. Bundle up there. Uh, take advantage of today. Maybe we need to finish up some raking, uh, do a little bit of leaf pickup, get that garden ready for winter. Today is going to be the day. Tomorrow will be the day as well before rain on Friday and a much cooler weekend. We'll take a look at the eight day at the end of the show. Casey, back to you. All right, James, thank you so much. 652 right now and one more check of your traffic. We had a few accidents this morning, but those all happened quite a while ago, so they'll probably be cleared up at this point. 390, 490, and 590 all looking good, so hopefully your midweek workday is off to a good start. What was unquestioned yesterday in the election was the sizable turnout in our area. It was a long day. Polls opening around 6 in the morning and not closing till around 9 o'clock last night. Our Jatira Marsh caught up with a few of those voter voters throughout the day at the polls and asked them what was on their mind as they cast their ballot. Jatira, good morning. Casey, good morning. This year's election day brought voters out in impressive numbers compared to midterm elections of the past. 
anyone driving around likely saw the commotion on the streets as people drove to and from polling sites. As of 7.30 last night, our last update from the Board of Elections, there was 39% voter turnout in Monroe County. That's well over 190,000 people. In the city of Rochester, that number was 27%, over 28,000 people, and a very impressive 43% in other towns and suburbs within Monroe County. Voters at the polls spoke with us early on, and they broke down some of the issues they were concerned about this year. The abortion right thing was a huge thing for me. The student loan thing, hope make, ensuring that that actually goes through and there's maybe less pushback on it. The economy, safety, judges a lot because they have a lot. I believe the way the, the direction the country's heading uh, can be uh, altered and have more people work together. Residents may be divided politically, but they indeed came together to vote on this election day 2022. Very impressive numbers for a midterm election. Casey? For a midterm. Thank you so much, Jatira. All right, last year, Monroe County saw 30% voter turnout. That was less than half from the 2020 presidential election. That election saw a 78% voter turnout. As for the race for New York's U.S. Senate seat, Senator and current Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, a Democrat, will be heading back to Washington for his fifth term after defeating Republican challenger Joe Pinion by a sizable margin. Schumer had these words last night. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise to all of you here tonight and all 20 million New Yorkers whom it's my honor to represent, I will keep fighting and will keep this fight up for as long as it takes to win. Onward to victory, Democrats.